currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could take one second to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. But before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there that y'all are kings and queens. And I hope y'all having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm here to bring you guys the best prime Jason Tatum build. Well, he's still, maybe he hasn't even reached his prime, but this is the best replica type of build to Jason Tatum in NBA 2K24. Before we get into the video, also comment down below what build you would like me to uh, like me to make next. And also comment down below what build you guys have been rocking so far in 2K24. Now, getting into Jason Tatum. He, as a Nets fan myself, you know, it's it's pretty upsetting knowing we, we should have had him if we didn't make probably the worst trade in sports history, you know? But nonetheless, it's he's one of the he's one of the best players to watch in the NBA. It seems like when the moment it gets bigger, he just he just he just rises to the moment. I know he had a bad finals, I get it. But for the most part, I mean his rookie year, he went head to head with arguably the GOAT in a seven game series. He took, he almost went to the finals. Almost led a team all the way to the finals his rookie year. Postered, he postered LeBron James his rookie year in the playoffs. Unless I'm mistaken, and that was his third year. But I'm pretty sure it was a rookie, Jason Tatum, that was doing all that, which is just crazy to think about. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Small forward, six foot eight. You're going to be 185 pounds. And then your wingspan is going to be six foot 11. So usually my metrics are off when it comes to these players. But Jason Tatum is 6'8", and he's 6'11", but this time the weight is going to be a little lower than weight. Yeah, he's probably like around 215, 210. Uh, but yeah, we got to go a little lighter for 2K purposes. Now moving into the attributes. Jason Tatum, I just mentioned, he put that poster on LeBron James as a rookie in the playoffs. So he's getting an 87 driving dunk. Me personally, I think it's close to a 93. I think he's one of the best in-game dunkers in the whole league. But we're going to give him that 87 driving dunk. Then we're also going to end up giving him that 75 post control because he is a monster in the post. Has great post control. Able to shoot over both shoulders. And that's going to be it for the finishing part of the build. Uh, but you'll see why we put the post control up to 75. And you'll see it right now because the mid range is going to end up being an 80 midi, which is going to unlock that gold post fade fina right you need a you need a what do you need you need a 75 post control and then either a 86 close shot or 79 midi and we got the 75 post control with the 80 midi then jason tatum through his career is averaged a 37.5 percent for three which is very elite for today's game so we're gonna end up giving him that 85 three ball the reason we went to 611 wingspan so you can unlock that bronze limitless range along with that bronze agent three you got silver blinders you got gold catch shoot gold corner specials all that good type of stuff so so far we're seeing the shooting is great the finishing is great now what else could i give you i can also give you the 83 uh free throw because for his career he does shoot 84.7 from the line now in terms of his passing he's he's been getting better right but he's not a he's not a he's not main he's not a main playmaker you know he's kind of like a playmaker for himself you know he got the ball he's gonna he's gonna dribble to get himself open and get the shot not so much dribble to have a defense crash on him and kick it to the open man uh, or catch a back door or any of those other type of cuts but he's gonna get the 70 pass accuracy then moving into the speed with ball or, or the ball handle excuse me he's gonna be an 85 ball handle and guys also if you'd like to stay till the end of the video i'm gonna be showing you guys the best jump shot and all the best animations for this build because hey the build is only 50 percent the animation is 25 percent and then the other 25% is you guys with the hand and your controller using your stick and your brain skill. Okay, the speed of ball is going to be maxed at 79 speed of ball. Then moving into the defense, I honestly thought his steal would be a little high. I thought he averaged more steals per game in his career, but he really only averages about one. So we're going to put that steal up to a 72 to get yourself silver glove. I mean, not silver. Bronze glove, bronze interceptor, and bronze right stick ripper. But it's pretty, he's a great perimeter defender. Don't get it twisted. He's a great, great perimeter defender. We're going to put the perimeter defense up to an 87 perimeter D. And then in terms of the defensive rebounding, I'm going to go ahead and max it out to a 78. Because he averages 7 rebounds per game. Which is very, very impressive for a player that spends a lot of his time out on the perimeter. Um, but uh, on defense, you know what I mean? Uh, then moving into the block. 
He does average close to one block a game, and I've seen him throw some stuff into the stands. So we're going to go ahead and give him a 68 block, and then match that with a 61 in tier. So you could really bring this build to the twos. It could be a point guard in twos. It could be a point guard or a lock. I wouldn't say it could be a lock in, in threes, but it could be a, still be a point guard or I guess kind of a lock in threes. And then in fives, it could play the one, two, or the three, in my honest opinion. And then moving into the physicals of this build, what we're gonna have here is you're gonna end up having an 81 speed, which is gonna unlock that silver speed booster. Do not go below 81 speed because you're not gonna get silver speed booster if you would like to make changes to the build. We're gonna put the acceleration up to a 79 as well. Then the strength, like I say, he's a strong man. He's a strong man, Jason Tatum. We're gonna put his strength up to a 65, which is rather high for like any guard build. Uh, that it doesn't prioritize on finishing alone. Then the vertical, he's got a high vert. We're going to end up giving him an 80 vertical. And then the stamina, you max this out to a 96. Unless, you know, as always. As always, I messed something up. I want to keep that bronze pogo. We could lower that interior defense a little bit. And then end up putting the stamina. I need 96 stamina. Am I going to get it? I'm going to get 96 stamina. And then we could throw a little bit more on free throw. So you don't miss a single one. Put it up to an 86 free throw and guys that is going to be the jason tatum build comment down below how you guys think i could have changed this build to make it more accurate let me know what your guys jason tatum build would be in the comments let's go ahead and advance and show you guys the shades and then get into the animations for the build but we're gonna get shades of bruce bowen andrew wiggins and boyan bogdanovich boyan bogdanovich could never dream of having an 87 driving down Neither could Bruce Bowen. Maybe Andrew Wiggins, but Andrew Wiggins don't got all the rest of the packages that Mr. Jason Tatum got himself. But you have built a three-level threat. A rather common build name. I'm not going to say it's rare by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go ahead and pick our team and get into the animations. Because I don't want no one coming back to this video and saying, yo, this build's trash. Because it's not trash. It's a good build. All right? It's a good build. I'm confident. I would, never, I would never give you guys a bad build. This is not in my nature. I'm not out here to set you guys up for failure. I want everybody, I want everybody to be cooking in the park in the red because I want to face comp. I want to face the best of the best. But let's go ahead and get into the animations for the build. The jump shot is going to end up being, this is a very tested jump shot by my boy that has an exact 85-3 ball that shoots many shots off the dribble. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend this jump shot. And it is going to end up being, you're going to go with a Dariq Whitehead base. Then your two releases are going to be, the first one's going to be Kyle Korver. If I'm going to just find him, he's over here, page 14. And then the second release is going to end up being a classic in Oscar Robertson, which is right here. And then your release speed is going to be max, and you're going to end up going with 77 Oscar and 23 Kyle Korver. It's going to be end up being an A-plus release speed, all that good type of stuff. And then moving into the animations, dribble pull up, you want normal two on, spin jumper doesn't really matter, hop jumper is your preference, post hop shot I would put on Kobe Bryant 100%. Then dribble, put on no pass style, your dribble style, you're either going to go with LeBron, Magic Johnson, uh, or Pro, or Pro, those are your three options. Your size up, probably, I've seen a lot, you, there's a lot to pick from, you just got to test them out. Your skate moves though. Hold on, time out. Let me just go to the animation store so I can actually show you and not tell you to test nothing out. Show all of them. You could throw on Kobe. Kobe's gonna be your best escape move. Yeah, Kobe, right? Ball in the oh no no, you don't need, you don't even get Kobe. What was it? Oh, locked, locked here. You could throw on Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's a good one. Paul George or James Harden are the other two that I would highly recommend. You just got John Morant over here. You got a lot of good ones. You even got Jason Tatum himself, but I probably wouldn't recommend that one. Paul, Chris Paul actually isn't bad either. Uh, then moving into the crossover, you should be able to get James Harden, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you do. So throw on James Harden crossover. Your behind the back is going to end up being Jamal Murray, which you do get unlocked. And then your step back is going to be, you can either throw on John Wall or you could throw on James Harden. And that's going to be all your important dribble moves for this build. And guys, if you did overall enjoy the Jason Tatum build, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been your boy, No Limit Dots. And I'm out. Peace.